Good morning, beautiful people. It's Jacqueline. As you see, we have work going on. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. And everybody else. Morning. Morning. How are you? So, we thank God for that. That truck leaving behind me has just left sight. Yeah. All right, guys. I don't know whether this is called a sand cake. Hmm? So basically, this sand is called cake. It is so solidified that even when it rains, it doesn't wash. Meaning they need to crack it properly before they will use it. I'm thinking it's still usable, okay? The blocks, those are the very few left. That means we have to make new ones. Okay, I'm moving. All right, guys, I've been able to set this. So it's just me in the small picture and what is happening on the... Okay. This guy is... Oh. Twelve wheeler. Yeah. It has twelve. Yeah. Hey guys, you hear that? I've learned something new. Okay, this bad guy here is twelve wheeler. Hey, <laughs> let me laugh at myself. I have to learn all languages: trade language, sight language. Anyway, the guys are off. They are happy to be filmed. Okay, I am excited. They will be back again because there are a few trips they will have to make before we do something, okay? That is work in progress. I always smile when this time happens because I get excited. Like I said, I can't wait to sleep up there. Eh? God help me, please. Okay, so today is a day for bringing materials. They've started with gravel. That's the first trip. I'm waiting for them again. They'll make two, then sand trip. Once they are done, we do more of these, okay? We will need more of these blocks. And hopefully, guys, fingers crossed, I'll bribe them to do pavers for me. Eh? <laughs> the guys who make these blocks know how to make pavers. Then I'll really tidy up the inside, okay? And then start planting flowers that I've been waiting for. I've made the soil healthy, okay? Time has healed the ground. Although it's dry, there is proper humus in there, okay? So, guys, let's go. All right, then. That's my sight. Back to life. I call it back to life because I get excited when there are works. These guys are coming with the truck uh, guys to load, to, to offload more materials. All right. Let me catch my breath and get excited again. All right. Good morning, Jovian family. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jacqueline. Okay. I'm a Ugandan. Call me a Ghanaian Ugandan. Hmm. My dear, don't ask for stories. <laughs> Just take it. I'm the only Ghanaian Ugandan on YouTube for now. Eh? Hopefully, I've not met any other person Ugandan. But when I do... I'll let you know. Of course, I'll let you know. That'll be a home person, whatever they'll be. Okay? This morning, I was woken up by sound. You know that. And you're like, mm, that is on my site. And yes, behold, it was truck bringing materials to the site. Okay. Quick update on the site again. We've done the electrical piping that has been laid i don't want to go back to that hope it's visible from here somehow okay we need to pour concrete for the first floor and i'm hoping it's this week you know with ghana you don't estimate time hmm? they'll tell you today and they'll come next week eh? <laughs> it's not that i've got used to it but it's hard to swallow eh? that's a pill that is hard to swallow Whereby somebody will tell you they will come on Sunday, yet in reality, Sunday. Hmm. Most Ghanaians don't work on Sunday. Sunday is for resting. Saturday is for funeral. Friday is holiday time. So if you're buying things on Friday, you need to be quick because people are in the mood for the weekend. Okay? That's excitement. Before I leave this place, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome for all comments you wish to comment. 
um, appraisals, I call them. <laughs> the other thing is I really enjoy feedback from everybody. Thank you so much. You don't know it, but I have to repeat. You inspire me. You do inspire me to keep doing what I do. I apologize for those of you who want the prices of these things. All I know once you're in the diaspora, no excuse, guys. We still can afford these things, okay? Besides that, inflation in Ghana will always change prices per day, per week. I'll tell you the price now before the day ends, it would have changed. For me, I don't want to let give anybody a heart attack for nothing. All I'm asking is, when you're ready, come back to the motherland. Meet trusted people. Forget this thing of it is easy to communicate from abroad and then you come here and you don't even have the land you've been paying for. for. Ten of you are buying the same piece of land. Whoever bids last to the seller takes the land. You come out and say, I have this, I have that. Everybody will just look at you and wonder what is wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. All I'm saying kindly, people in the diaspora, come back home. If you can't come very often, once in a while, at least once in a while, if the worst comes to the worst, get to a mortgage. I hate mortgages, reason being that that is another <laughs> death warrant of dying with a debt. Can you imagine enjoying the house for 10 years and still having more debt? When you pass, oh, things change, which do change, circumstances change. Back to the owner or the one selling will be owning it because it's still not your property. It's borrowed time. A mortgage is a debt for life. If the children or family you get in the house for love it, that means you've bought a debt for them because if you stop working or your circumstances change to the point that you cannot afford anymore, they will have to carry on the burden. But then you come back with nothing. It's not a burden, but it really aggravates me. Makes me grieve when I'm not even crying for anybody dead. Please kindly. I'm speaking at this side because we've done it at our pace. Little by little, nobody is chasing you, but that tiny money you think is small will buy more than 10 blocks for you. Or even more than 10 bags of cement. Even if somebody was to cheat you a bit, hmm? because sometimes I agree we pay the African tax always. Builders also take something, <laughs> believe me or not. However nice they are, there is a way they cash out somehow, okay? But at least you'll have something. I looked, I, I've reached a point where I would reflect and say, Jacqueline, you've made all this money. You've reached this far. You've done everything that an African girl would do. But you don't even have a bicycle with your name on it. Come on, guys. It is painful. And I'm like, now where am I going to keep this family? Benching more family members or benching friends. What are we going to do? I say, you know what? <laughs> Come what may, I'm packing to go home. Whatever we can afford, we afford. Trust me, you've never built a house in a year, have you? Nobody has told you pack your bags. Nobody has said, told you leave the job. But you really hustle like somebody is saying tomorrow out. <laughs> Each time I feel like I'm resting, I heard this voice saying, out, my dear. You've overstayed, eh? You need to go out. You know when you have answers around you that really reflect that... <laughs> Best guy, the season here is, is over. I had a full time job. Oh, the dream car, beautiful children and family. But I was like, where is my house? I'm tired of renting, I'm tired of negotiating with landlords over my own money and sweat. Until we had our own house, I told my husband, until we open our own door and keep the keys, even if we lost them, we get new ones. Eh? And even change colors how we want. We are nothing. Do you know why? In my own culture, if you don't build your own house, you're still a boy. Eh? I said, my dear, build a castle. Me, I'm out of here. And behold, I'm out. You can be out too. I love you guys. Words cannot express my excitement, my joy over what is happening because I know where we've come from. Don't think I've forgotten. For those of you who know me, yes, I know where I've come from. But you can also come out of there. Social media is lovely. Ah, I'll post any picture back in Palace. Ooh, I'm not at Newcastle football match. Now I'm Manchester. Guys, have you eaten this dish? It's all lovely. I had the chance to do that, but I was fed up. I said, where is my own table? Where I can say today I want a square one or circular one? Without the land or saying that is too big for my house. Eh? Guys, don't be bullied by these people. 
you are far bigger than that. You have a kingdom and subordinates waiting. You should see the help I get from family and friends. People who have not seen me for years. Some even don't know me, but because I look like them, I speak like them, I'm their own. It's sweet. I always say Ghana is sweet, but the people we meet at home are sweet. Don't be disorganized in the head thinking they are manipulating you for your money. What money do you have? How much? After two weeks, how much are you left with? Forget the credit cards. Put them aside. Eh? The higher purchases. Put them aside. We are as broke as church mice. Let's be honest. But to come out of that and be somebody is to come back home. Do something for yourself. Call it small if you want to, but it's yours. I'm waiting. I'm waiting and I'll not shut up. I'm sorry I'll not shut up because it hurts me to know that you can afford it and you're still being scaremongered about, hey, Africa, people are here enjoying life and you think they are broke. Come on, my dear. 